Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and Forest Career Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. Congratulations to President Dorothy Buss, who has served as president for 20 plus years for the Pomfret Estate Civic Association. Her retirement party was held on the 24th of April at the Community Outreach Center. Before her day was done, there was one more task and one more visitor. Cop troller Peter Franchot gifted Dorothy with a medallion and thanked her for her hard work for the community as well as the entire state of Maryland. Best of luck to you, former President Buss. Charles County government started an effort for building smaller homes for the homeless as a part of special revenue fund of around $44 million. Commissioner Reuben Collins said that the homes could be a cost-effective way to aid homeless individuals. According to Collins, the effort would align with the goal of increasing the county's quality of life and improving affordable workforce and housing efforts. The Charles County government is creating an equity plan to further instill diversity and inclusion in government operations. The county is also moving forward to increase the amount of government contracts handed out to minority and small business enterprises. Supply chain and inflation issues are pushing for more innovative business ideas and prompting farmers to accept more technology and change into their work. Many farmers throughout the United States and even across the world are facing higher food, fertilizer, and other commodity prices due to the U.S. sanctions against certain world powers. This has caused many worries from farmers about shortages of wheat, corn, and other foodstuffs. Now turning to sports. The Northern High School girls lacrosse team dominated Honeytown with a score of 11 to 5. Both were tied at intermission, but the Northern Patriots gained the upper hand early and would score the first six goals for the commanding 10 to 4 lead. Northern senior Mackenzie Black said, Today we're, we just played with a lot of confidence in the second half. It felt so good to finally beat them. They've been beating us for so long and never show us any respect when we come here. In the final week of contests leading up to the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Championship game on May 10th, the Huntingtown Hurricane softball team pulverized Northern High 5-0. Huntingtown's coach Mike Johnson said it was a complete win today, and, uh, but I was really impressed with Caitlin. And our catcher, Ashley Scheuer, did a great job setting up and framing pitches for her. Getting a couple of runs early really helped too. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit somdnews.com. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. Signing off.